Okay, Bob. I'm going to give you a quick tour um, and try to just stay focused on the outside. I made this really long video last night that's too big to upload, so we're going to do this quick. So here's the front of the house. Um, I think at this point we really need to choose one of the Home Depot uh, roofing tiles. I think that's going to be the most expeditious and I think I really need to keep the cost of it low. So what they have is gas, timberline, natural shadow, and they have it in charcoal, bark wood, and driftwood. Um, and if I get a chance, I'll show you a house that has two of those two of those colors, and I think they look fine. And I think the driftwood is going to be probably the best of the three. Um, but if you get a chance to look at those either online or in person, I uh, would love your input. Okay. Um, so yes, I am planning on getting rid of the metal on the front eventually, probably not immediately in this phase, but it's my intention to get rid of all of the metal, including the railings, and just come back with um, tapered pillars. Uh, at this point we're planning on getting rid of this one window that's right next to the door. It may have been a door at one point. You can see how it's kind of odd in the way this is spaced. Um, if we get rid of that, things will be slightly more symmetrical on the front of the house. Um, and also, I just don't know that I need as many windows as I have, and it'll be slight savings as well, and also give me more wall space to deal with on the inside and the outside. Um, we tore out the drop ceiling, so when we put the ceiling back in here, it will I'm assuming at this point it'll be a beadboard <clears throat> and it will follow this angled line uh, coming down about a foot approximately. So we'll have some good angled height here uh, on the porch. Um, the new front door has a transom and three panes of glass across the top. Okay, side of the house now. Leaving the porch. <clears throat> Side window, which we're planning on replacing. At this point, we're talking about the windows, the replacement windows we purchased so far are Anderson 400 series, 4 over 4. Um, maple interior and clad exterior. Uh, I think I'll do pine in the rest of the house. I don't know. We haven't ordered those yet, so plenty of decisions can be made around the windows still. One thing I'd considered was, for example, this window, um, which is part of the front room I'm calling the parlor. That window, that, that room is going to have three windows after we remove the extra front one, and I'd wondered, well, does this really need to be a functioning window? Could this just be glass instead? Um, again, those are all just thoughts at this point. This is the deck uh, that we built because we couldn't build the big screen porch I wanted. Um, Doug is designing from ra some railings for that, which we'll share with you and see if you have any thoughts on. I had assumed this would be stained or painted. Apparently, Doug had been thinking that it, we would just let it weather. I didn't realize that the sealant on this wood apparently is good enough that you could do that. Um, I don't have a strong opinion about about that, but he wasn't sure that it would take a sealant at this point because apparently it's pretty water resistant. <clears throat> so it has these wide steps um, that run the, the entire width of the deck and um, the back door goes there, that goes into the kitchen. Uh, that is a three-quarter glass door <clears throat> from the same man manufacturer as the front, and um, as soon as those are up, I'll show them to you. Uh, you can see the lap siding, this is the original siding on the house. This wall 
will be restored. That will have the original siding and then this remainder of the wall we're going to have to reside with the lap siding. So there will be wooden siding on this side of the house and perhaps on the front, but the rest of it I'm going to leave the vinyl on for now, <clears throat> just as a cost savings. This was a porch that um, we have kind of done a new ceiling and new floor on and enclosed this corner portion so it's now like a bedroom nook. That's going to be a window into the laundry room. There's also going to be a window on this back portion of the bedroom nook. Uh, just a, a non-functioning, a non-opening window. Here's the backyard, which is very lovely, and maybe today, since it's cool, I won't get eaten alive by mosquitoes, but it's quite lovely. This is the, oh, ow, back of the house. That's the back bedroom window. This is the clad on the Anderson windows. I believe this is called Teratone. Um, I'm pretty happy with them. <clears throat> I think I'll like I'll think I'll like having clad. Uh, although I initially wanted wood everywhere. Um, I think I said in an email I'd be very open to having um, wood exterior on the two front windows at least. So those could be painted and maybe have a look, you know, be a little nicer looking on the front porch there. This is the side bedroom window, so both those windows have been installed. Vinyl will stay on this side. You can see one reason I want to stay away from it is because we just don't know how much rot we're going to encounter. We're going to have to put a new beam here, um, so a fair amount of rot. So again, there's these four over four windows. This is the um, metal cage that a uh, local metal worker built for me. Everybody has to have no kitten cages here on your compressors. Um, this was based on my design, and so it occurred to me that's a motif to consider this <clears throat> it's a <clears throat> sort of iconic representation of a dog rose, is what that design in the middle is, with the sort of William Morris Arts and Crafts border. Very nice. Um, these are sort of the kitchen windows. It's, it's the kitchen and the bathroom is what's on the other side of that. We don't have plans yet to order replacement windows for these, only because I just couldn't bring myself to order that many windows and I maybe I was thinking that I might try to hang on to some of the original windows. Um, most folks who have looked at them have agreed that there's just not much left to them. The glass of course is lovely but um, that replacing them seems to be the, the general consensus. I had originally wanted to try to hang on to somewhere I could. Uh, I just don't know if that's going to make sense. Hey sweet boy. Hello my love. This is Ram. Hey Ram. Okay, buddy, come along. Oh. Okay, let me get to the Greek return. Front part of the house. This is the living room window. Excuse me, buddy. 